Did you know that you can make custom and personalized napkins for your parties? I've wanted to do this for such a long time and I finally got a chance to do it with my Cricut Joy and Cricut Easy Press 2. These were for a royal themed high tea. We picked up these robin egg blue napkins from a party supplier called A Little Whimsy here in Australia. These were perfect for the look we wanted to create. Because I was using our Cricut Joy, I set up my cutting file on my phone. As I mentioned earlier, I needed something regal, so I looked up Fleur Lee. I did a rough measurement before I went into the Cricut design space. When I found the shape I wanted to use, I quickly resized the shape, duplicated it three times so I could cut them all in one go. I also needed to make sure they would fit on the Cricut Joy vinyl, which I believe is about 10 centimeters wide. Now for the cutting itself, for this particular project, I used the Cricut Joy Smart Iron-On in gold from Spotlight. Now time to customize. Normally I would reference Cricut's very useful heat guide to figure out what temperature to set my heat press machine for the project I am working on. But since napkins are not a very common project, they weren't listed. I did however look at a few other materials and try to figure out what might work. I was using Easy Press 2 and I did some playing around and found that 120 degrees Celsius at 20 seconds with a light press worked well. You'll notice that I set my machine to 10 seconds initially because I thought that would be enough, but then I realized I needed more. I was able to peel the protective layer nicely after about 10 seconds or so, so I would say it's a cool peel. If your design is small, I also recommend the Mini Press, Cricut's smaller heat press product. I'm so happy with how these turned out. 